Hello everybody. So this week I want to take a little bit of a break from our fitness yoga skills and I want to focus a little bit more on some skill development. <clears throat> now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do fitness this week. So I've compiled probably about 15 or more fitness videos so you can access them anytime you want. But today what I want to do with this skill session is I'm going to teach you as I'm teaching myself, frankly, because I'm not very good at this, is learning really growth mindset through juggling. Why juggling and why growth mindset? Uh, the reason why is this activity is extremely hard to do. And if you don't have the idea that you are going to fail thousands of times before you succeed this, you are not going to go ahead and persevere. And the idea is that if you do practice, if you do this, you know, just a couple minutes every day, you will be uh, amazed at how quickly you'll learn how to do this. So, um, a couple things. Um, if you can do this inside, that's fine. I would think probably the best place for you to do this is actually in your bedroom over your bed. And you'll see why in a second. Okay. Um, we're going to start and tear the movement apart. We're going to start very easily. We're going to start with one ball and then move up to two and maybe three balls. But the first thing that you want to do is do it over your bed. The reason why is because if you miss, it's not going to bounce everywhere. So don't do it near things that can break. Make sure you're moving everything away. Okay, so stand near your bed. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to throw the ball so the ball um, is going to go in an arc and it's going to go from one hand to the next. Now, ideally, it'll pass through an area right around here by your ear. So it'll be like that. So start with your dominant hand and see if you can, at some point, you don't have to catch it up here, but you're going to look up here. Same thing with the other side. So your non-dominant hand. And get really comfortable with this kind of an arc. Okay? Do it time after time. And you will miss some. Okay? Now, once you've got that, and you'll have to practice that for a while. This is not easy. What I'd like you to do is have a ball in each hand. And you're going to throw one up. And as this ball is coming down... You're going to release the other one, and as this is coming down, you're going to catch it right about at your hip. Okay, so I would suggest starting with your dominant hand first, throwing it. Now, this is once you have got this throw proficient. Now, I'm about to do it, and I'm going to tell you I am going to miss a ton of times because I'm really not good at this. And I'm also going to tell you that through this week and the weeks to come, I'm going to practice it. And you'll see how proficient or improficient I am. And then how through practice that you can become, you know, halfway skilled at this thing. Okay, so I'm going to throw up one ball. And as it's coming down, I'm going to throw up the other one. Okay. All right, so you can see that I'm just doing it with my dominant hand first. Don't be in such a remark or a... Uh, have impatience, impatience rather, and try to proceed and all automatically go to two or three balls, or three balls anyway. We're doing two. So, okay, and then go to your non dominant hand and do the same thing. And you will be chasing the ball, there's no question about it. But if you're doing it over your bed, you don't have to go far to get it. And it, believe me, it's just practice time and time again, a few minutes each day. Now, I'm going to try to attempt three, and you'll, you'll see what's going to happen. I might be able to go ahead and get at least one rotation or not. And I can see I'm not using this loop when I do that. Okay, so here's what I'd like you to do. Go back um, in your bedroom, one ball. 
a couple minutes like this. Okay, once you do that, then you're going to do two bows. Do not rush to the third one until you can successfully do this a number of times. Now, one of the one of the errors that you will make is you'll be throwing the ball out this way. As you throw the ball out, you you won't be able to treat the other one. So that's why this is critical throwing the ball so the ball is being received right at your hips. Got it? Okay. So let's see you practice that. I don't know, three to five minutes. And if you can do it every day, you know, I think within a very short amount of time, you will see that you're going to at least be able to do this better than me. And maybe you'll progress to three balls. Okay. All right. Just as an aside, uh, remember last week I asked you to take the push-up challenge. So we do have some time today. Make sure that you do that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can throw in a set of sit-ups. You can throw in a wall sit. And you'll literally get your body moving. Okay? Under 10 minutes today. Not a big deal. Give it a try. And remember, what we're trying to do is really be mindful of what's it like to do a hard activity. Can I just persevere through the failure that's going to definitely be happening? And I know what's going to happen is as you practice this more and more, you're going to succeed and you're going to have success at it. And that's the idea, just to understand that just by this practice a few minutes a day, you can achieve unbelievable things. All right, so let's try juggling for this week. It'll be a new skill every day. But don't lose this three minutes to five minutes of juggling. All right.